Right. Going to cover. Enemies incoming. Tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. Human Reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. What did the collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability. 
ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. It appears that Why? a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old... France first. Enemies incoming! On my way!
Shepard to ground team. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? 
Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I know what you are, and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. I don't think so. I'm gonna stop the Reapers, but I won't sacrifice the soul of our species to do it.